Hi everyone, I'm Nick, and in this video I'm going to be comparing the Bose Soundlink Color 2 and the Harman Kardon Onyx Mini. These are two of the best sounding compact Bluetooth speakers available in my opinion. The Soundlink Color 2 retails for $129, and the Onyx Mini retails for $199. And although that might not be a fair comparison, the Onyx Mini has consistently been on sale for $99 to $129 since it came out. I'll put links in the description below if you'd like to check the most current price or purchase. I did full reviews on both of these as well, so if you're interested in that you can check those out. Starting off with the design of both of these, the Onyx Mini is just slightly larger than the Soundlink Color 2. The Onyx Mini measures 5.7 inches tall, 6.2 inches wide, and 3.7 inches deep, while the Soundlink Color 2 measures 5.25 inches tall, 5 inches wide, and 2.25 inches deep. The Onyx Mini is also slightly heavier at 1.3 pounds compared to 1.2 pounds for the Soundlink Color 2. The Soundlink Color 2 is wrapped in a soft touch silicone that has a really nice feel to it. A speaker grill takes up the majority of the front panel with a printed Bose logo at the top, while there's a smaller speaker grill on the back with an embossed Bose logo. You get an auxiliary input and micro USB port to charge on the right side. All the controls can be found on the top. Here you'll find the power button, Bluetooth button, input mode to switch between Bluetooth or the auxiliary input. There are volume buttons as well as a multifunction button. Using the multifunction button, you can play, pause, double press to skip forward a track, or triple press to skip back to the previous track. You can also use it to answer or end a call. The buttons feel good and have a nice click with each press. Looking at the Onyx Mini, the entire front panel is covered in speaker grill, with a nice Harman Kardon badge in the center. The back panel is covered entirely in matte rubber, with a passive radiator in the center, with an auxiliary input and micro USB port to charge on the bottom. The controls are at the top with backlit buttons. There's a Bluetooth pairing button, volume down, power button, volume up, and a multifunction button. I prefer when the multifunction button is the play button. It's not obvious that you would use the call button to pause or skip tracks, but that's not a big deal. You can double press to skip forward a track, but there's no function to skip back to the previous track. The buttons have very little travel and barely any click to let you know if you've pressed the button especially the Bluetooth or multifunction buttons. Those seem to have less travel than the top three buttons, but that's a minor issue. Both speakers feel really well made and just feel like quality devices. The big difference between the two of these is that the Soundlink Color 2 is water resistant and the Onyx Mini is not. The Soundlink Color 2 is water resistant, but not waterproof, and Bose points out in the manual not to allow liquids to spill into any of the openings. The Soundlink Color 2 has an IPX4 rating which means that it'll withstand sprays and splashes of water, so it'll be fine in the rain, but it can't be fully submerged in water. I personally think the Onyx Mini has more of a high-end look, and looks better on a bookshelf, while the Bose has more of a fun and durable look. I'd recommend the Bose to anyone looking to throw their speaker in a bag for a day at the beach, while the Onyx Mini is better parked on a shelf, or used in the backyard for a party. The Onyx Mini is even a little awkward to pick up with one hand. It's difficult to hold while not pressing in on the passive radiator. The Soundlink Color 2 has NFC for quick pairing, so if you have a compatible device, just a quick tap to the top of the speaker will connect. The Onyx Mini doesn't have NFC, which would have been nice especially given the Onyx's premium price, but pairing is still quick. You can also pair multiple devices at the same time with both speakers without having to unpair the previous device. You can connect three devices at once with the Onyx Mini and take turns playing music while you can connect two devices at the same time with the Soundlink Color 2. The Onyx Mini will let you connect two speakers together for simultaneous playback, a feature not found on the Color 2. Both speakers have a speakerphone built in for making voice calls. Call quality is just average on the Soundlink Color 2. It's loud and clear, but the caller on the other end could tell that I was using a speakerphone, and it sounded like I was in the distance. The Onyx Mini, on the other hand, is better than anything I've tried. Call quality is clear on both ends, and the caller couldn't tell that I was using a speakerphone. Battery life is not as close between these two. The Soundlink Color 2 is rated at up to 8 hours of playback, and in my testing I was able to get just over 7 hours at 75-80% to volume. The Onyx Mini is rated at up to 10 hours, but I was able to get over 15 hours of playback at 75-80% to volume. The Onyx Mini has dual 45mm drivers, powered at 8 watts each, with a passive radiator on the rear that delivers pretty good bass for a speaker this size. Bass is tight and punchy, but can lack impact on tracks with deep bass, 
especially when you compare this to larger speakers. Bose doesn't specify the size of the drivers or their output, but the front-facing drivers with dual passive radiators do an okay job with bass for a speaker this size. The kick drum hits hard, but it's light on deep bass. When testing bass tones with the Onyx Mini, the bass begins to roll off at around 80 Hz and is gone at around 60. With the Soundlink Color 2, bass rolls off much sharper at 80 Hz and is gone at around 70 Hz. The Soundlink Color 2 sounds smaller and thinner than the Onyx Mini. Bass heavy tracks sound much better on the Onyx Mini. But bass aside though, it's much closer in other aspects. Switching between the two of these speakers is not as noticeable. Both of these speakers are very well balanced with detailed mids and clear highs. Vocals are slightly more forward on the Soundlink Color 2 compared to the Onyx Mini, and vocals sound smoother on the Onyx Mini. The Onyx Mini can play noticeably louder though. At 1 meter away, the Onyx Mini hits 91 decibels, while the Soundlink Color 2 hits just 87. Both can fill a medium to large size room, but the Onyx Mini sounds like a larger speaker with a little more on the low end. Here are some samples so you can hear how they compare for yourself. So both speakers sound very good. They're both well balanced, but the Onyx Mini performs better overall, with a little more low end and smoother mids than the Bose Soundlink Color 2. If you're looking for a speaker that you can also throw in your bag and not worry if it gets wet, then go with the Soundlink Color 2. But if you're looking for a great sounding, stylish speaker to park on your bookshelf, then I'd recommend the Onyx Mini, especially if it's on sale for the same price or less than the Bose. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit the like button if you liked the video, and please subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching!